I saw this video clip actually of um, Lato in a club with Kevin Hart and Usher. And this is legitimately one of my nightmares and actually a revelation or no one of my nightmares but also a pretty clear example of what i probably look like when i'm in a club these days because i've always had this nightmare that if you ever walked into a club and you saw me and i was standing in a corner somewhere i'd come across weird because i'm just standing in the corner or i'm standing right at the back with my arms folded you know stroking my chin like a fed or like a literal chin stroker but in some occasions i think i just look like this i just look probably tired that's probably what I look like in this video of Kevin Hart in the flipping club with flipping Lato and Usher. I probably just look knackered, you know, like Kevin Hart does in this video. Nothing even crazy. He just looks tired. Let me play the video for you. There's Usher. There's Lato. <laughs> She's having a blast. She's having a fucking blast. So is Usher. Kinda. Look at Kevin Hart. <laughs> I I honestly think that's what I I, I wish I probably looked like Usher. I wish I had, you know that's what i came across as like just the old guy that you're maybe having a blast and now you're chilling i love the puffer hat but i think in actuality i probably have more similar face and demeanor to kevin hart that's probably why i end up looking like in a club i'm sure of it that's what i'm actually looking like the greys and the beard and all sorts literally just doing the thousand eyes you know the what's it called the, the thousand yard stare he's not even looking at anybody He's not even trying to scoop any baddies. He's just literally thinking about the way home. He's thinking about if that store is open on the way home. He's thinking if he should pass through flipping Popeyes or go to fucking Chick-fil-A. He's thinking whether or not his wife is up or not. Is he going to have time to see his kids before he goes to sleep? Is his laptop charged? That's what he's probably thinking about in his head right now, which I've had the thought of in my head. Or sometimes, you know what the worst thing is? You know what the worst thing is? When you're in a club and you start to think about, should I get another drink? Should I have another bump? Should I have another line? Should I, should I, <laughs> should I take a bit more of this pill? Because you're thinking you need something to give you a kick up the ass. Be like, hold on. I'm not in a mood. Like I'm clearly not good. Like he's probably had a few drinks in him already. It's still not doing anything. So those other things aren't really going to do anything either. But you're kind of tricking your brain to believe that it will help, but it's not going to help. So you're just kind of like mulling over it in your head. And then you're thinking, oh, okay, cool. So um, should I just stay and just chill? But then the young person next to you, which happens to be Lato, is having a fucking blast. Look at her. She's vibing. She's singing along to all the, all the words of the rap tune because I guess it's one of her songs. She's not even sweating a single. There's not a single bead of sweat on her, right? She's wearing some cotton. She's got a full face of makeup, but she's not sweating. She's having a blast, as you do when you're like, what, 25, 26. Absolutely loving fucking life stunting having a good time showing off the pearly whites the fucking diamonds are dancing you know having a blast and then to the side of her she has usher who's you know he's doing an okay job of staying in touch you know staying attuned but the one that's really a reflection on what it's actually like to party with youngsters is kevin hart that's what it's actually really like in real life that's what your that's your scenario and i've had many many of those scenarios in my life honestly many 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 too many to flip and mention to the point where you're like, hmm, should I just hang it all up? Should I just decide to like, you know, hang up my fucking magnums, you know, put my fucking rave boots to one side, write my fucking retirement, you know, caption over there on IG and just let it be because nobody wants to be this guy in the club. But unfortunately, all of us are heading in that direction. We are all heading into this direction where we end up looking like Kevin Hart standing next to Lato in the club. I think this might be Miami during Miami Design Week. I think so. I'm not too sure because I think all the celebrities are out there at the moment because, you know, it's Miami Design Week. And, you know, Kevin Hart is just out here trying to, trying to focus, trying to remember if he's got his charger. Should he call his assistant for that thing? Does he have an email he's got to respond to? He's just all over the place. That's the reality of it when you're out there. It's fucking difficult. But I like it. I'm not going to lie. I think it's a good thing. Um, 
I think every, you know, you're meant to have phases in your life. You're meant to have times when you're, you know, super lit and going crazy. As Rihanna mentioned, she had a time when she was, you know, letting the nipple go free, you know, having a fucking, uh, the whole snatch out and shit. Now that she's a mum with a couple of kids and shit, she's probably like, you know what? I'm going to chill on that side of things. So I completely understand. I completely understand. So solidarity with Kevin Hart for all the other old fucks in the club who are still trying to hold it down and still trying to keep up with the kids. It's fucking difficult out there. But keep your head up. Keep your fucking head up. Keep your fucking head up.